Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Pound here. I'm going to show you how to do unit conversion using the bridge method. Now this is a little different than the way your book shows how to do unit conversion, but I'm showing you this method because this is the method that I will use if you take chemistry and physics from me also physical science, and also this is the method that Miss Kinney, our math teacher, teaches you as well. So don't worry about what the book says. Go with what I am showing you. And remember, I'm taping this so that you have it to reference again. If you forget how to do this in a couple of days, watch the video again. Watch the video before the test to refresh your memory. We're going to do a worksheet today. You're going to get practice. We're going to do another worksheet before the test. So if you forget how to do it before that other worksheet, we'll come back here. So I'm going to switch my camera over to the worksheet. Have this worksheet out that says 111 unit conversion. And we're going to, I'm going to do these problems with you to show you how to do this before you get your other sheet. Okay, so unit conversion. My question says, how many liters are in 2.849 milliliters? So the first thing I do is I start with the number they give me and I write it down. 2.849 milliliters and I draw these lines like this this is our bridge the next thing I need to know is how to get from milliliters to liters so in your book on page 5 here it is I look for a conversion factor and I want to go from milliliters to liters and it's right here one liter is a thousand milliliters so I go back to my paper and the key to this is since milliliters is on the top here milliliters has to go to the bottom here so from page five I found that one liter is a thousand milliliters. I put the milliliters on the bottom. The reason for this is because I want to cancel my units out. If I divide a milliliter by a milliliter, I get the number one. And I put liters on the top. So when I do my math, I get my calculator out. This becomes 2.849 divided by 1,000. This here is your division line, like in a fraction. So I have my calculator. It looks like, can you see what is there? 2.849 divided by 1,000 equals... 0 0.002849 so I write that down 0 0.002849 milliliters and box in your answer that helps me to find your answer better this here is called a conversion factor This is my conversion factor. So let's try another problem. Number two says, how many centimeters are in 49 kilometers? So I write down what I'm given, 49 kilometers. And I go to my book. And I see that there's no conversion directly from centimeters to kilometers right here. 
I have centimeters to meters and then meters to kilometers, so that's what I'm going to go with. So for this one on page five, I learn that one meter is 100 centimeters and one kilometer is a thousand meters. So I'm going to use both of these conversion factors. So I start out with my 49 kilometers. I draw my lines here. Kilometers goes on the bottom. So one kilometer is a thousand meters. That unit cancels out. I then use this one, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. I put one meter on the bottom and 100 centimeters on the top. I then multiply across the top here. So when I multiply across the top, I get a 49 with three zeros and then two zeros, so five zeros after it. One, two, three, four, five. You could also put it into your calculator. So I find that 49 kilometers is 4,900,000 centimeters. Okay, let's go to the next one. How many milligrams are in three kilograms? So I have three kilograms here, I write that down. And then I go to page five. And page five over here says that one gram is a thousand milligrams and one thousand grams is one kilogram. So I have to use both of those facts. So I'm just going to write that here for you. So one gram is a thousand milligrams and one kilogram is a thousand grams. So we come back over here. We need kilograms on the bottom. So we write one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. But we're not to milligrams yet. We're just into grams. So we then have to use the fact that one gram is a thousand milligrams. So I put one gram on the bottom and a thousand milligrams on the top. I multiply through the top. I have a three with three and then three more zeros after it. So that ends up being three million milligrams are in three kilograms. Okay, so that's metric conversion. Sometimes we want to convert between metric and the English system. So my question here is how many centimeters are in 89 inches? So I start with 89 inches and I look up this time on page 6. Page 6 right here. And I want to go from inches to centimeters. So right here it says one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So I write that down. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So inches goes on the bottom, so I can cancel it out. Centimeters on the top, 2.54 centimeters. I multiply 89 times 2.54. and I get 226.06. .06. I'm going to round that off just to 226 centimeters. And I should be boxing in these answers, shouldn't I be? So that it's easy to find that answer. So go back and box in all of your answers. Okay, now these last two problems have a little bit more to do with your homework.
I'm asked to convert 960 feet to meters. So I start out with my 960 feet. And I go to my book. And I see that one foot is 0 0.3048 meters, or one meter is 3.28 feet. I kind of like this one better, so I'm going to use that. You could use either, but I'm going to use one meter equals 3.28 feet. So feet goes on the bottom, so we can cross it off. And my one meter goes on the top. So this problem ends up being 960 divided by 3.28. So I use my calculator. So 960 divided by 3.28 equals 293. I'm going to round it off. 200. 93 meters. Okay, last problem here. So convert 137 meters to feet. I'm going to write 137 meters. I'm going to use the same conversion factor as up here. So one meter equals 3.28 feet. One meter goes on the bottom. 3.28 feet goes on the top. So this time I'm multiplying those numbers. So I multiply 137 times 3.28 and I get 449 is what I'm going to round this off to. 449 feet. Oh, and I better box in my answers. Okay, so that is how to do the conversions. Now, I want you to use that information to do this worksheet, worksheet 111A, Skyscrapers. You're going to do the conversion column just the way we did it. If it's in feet, you're going to convert it to meters. If it's in meters, you're going to convert in feet. When you're doing your conversions, I want you to have an extra sheet of notebook paper that you're showing me your work for the conversions. You can simply abbreviate these, like Taipei 101, just put T101, Shanghai Tower ST, so I know which one you're converting, and do the conversions. Then answer the questions at the bottom, and after you're done with the conversions, because the important part is the conversions, I want to make sure you're doing the conversions right in class, so I want you to do that first. And then if you need help, there will be somebody to help you. Then look up the cities and countries using your computer. So conversions first on a separate sheet of paper showing all of your work like we did on that other sheet and then looking up the cities and countries and answering the questions.